This is our Weed Watch segment, and I have found a plant at the back of my house where it gets all shade all day. It's very moist when it rains. It stays wet. And this could be either one of two plants. It could be a weed, so to speak, called Lesser Celandine, or it could be the Marsh Marigold, which is a native to marshes and wet woodlands. Now, they spread differently. This weed spreads by bulblets, which form under the ground and also out along the edges, which I do not see. So for me to know whether this is the marsh marigold or the weed called lesser celandine, I will need to dig it up. When the flowers open, it is a pretty flower, as you can see. Underneath, there are little green petals. This one, I think, has three, six, eight um, flower petals. The lesser celandine butterclub states that it could have eight to twelve petals, and the marsh marigold could have five to seven or five to nine, so it still could be either one. Looking closely, it forms a rosette in the center. If it is the weed, it can take over forest areas and moist shady areas rather quickly. It flowers in March and April in Pennsylvania. The name of the weed, <clears throat> if you don't understand what I'm saying, Lesser Celandine. So let's dig it up and we'll see what is forming underneath. was hoping this was the marsh marigold but it is not as you can see small little bulb bubbles be are forming under here which means it is the weed to control this one I will need to dig out every single little bulblet so that more do not sprout I want to get this early because it will also reseed I'm going to show you another weed that has become a big problem in our area. This is the hairy bittercress. If you can see it, it's not the violet. You see these tiny... You see the tiny little white flowers? And on the top, you can see the little seeds forming. These are in the yard. They grow... They have no preference. They will grow anywhere. I want to show you how this weed forms. This is several together here. Um, forms a little rosette at the bottom. Starts out very small. Sends up a stalk with the shoot and then the seeds form. This is <laughs> this is a very uh, prolific weed and if you don't pull them before they seed, that will pop and it flies in the air and then they become um, populated all over your yard. Another weed that's um, been spreading, this is the chickweed. It has little flowers on the end. It grows like crazy as well. Along the edge of my garden, I have this problem with the chickweed. As you can see, it is flowering. I'm kind of getting behind on pulling it. So I can see the problem will continue as the seeds distribute themselves into the nice soil. And I will have these little tiny weeds to be pulling. These are violets actually here growing. They're so tiny, but I must get in here. Here's a tiny little bitter crest, hairy bitter crest, just forming. So it's best to pull all of these when they're small. Don't let them go to seed and you won't have a problem. Have a good day.